Folks, it's uh, Kurum here again right now finally adding a video to my channel agentdodo.com check out the blog as well Agent Dodo, the channel on YouTube uh, gonna take a little uh, dab at cricket uh, no football although the England is playing against uh, Ghana and a friendly at Wembley today with Gareth Barry uh, taking the lead reins for England looks like it could be a draw over there but we're not gonna get into that uh, the biggest thing that everyone's been talking about since Thursday since Australia will lost in the quarterfinal to India, uh, everyone's been talking about Pakistan versus India. I've been talking about it on the radio over and over and over again. I've talked to a lot of people all over Pakistan uh, via the telephone on the radio. And everyone, alhamdulillah, is uh, positive about Pakistan winning. And everyone is going to be on the prayer mat for sure. And everyone's going to be keep, keeping the prayers coming and hoping that Pakistan can do well in Mohali against India. India, though, you have to, you have to call a spade a spade, right? I've just, why have taken the last minute? I don't want any negativity coming the way. I don't want to think anything negative about Pakistan versus India. I feel it in my heart that Pakistan can actually pull this through. I don't care about predictions and Ian Chappell saying that Freedy's not a uh, a calm leader and he could do something stupid that could ruin it for Pakistan where Dhoni is like the calmer of the two and Dhoni showed a big, big calmness. I hate you, Ian Chappell. Shut up. We don't need to know about Ian Chappell. We don't need to know, worry about that kind of stuff. For all the Pakistanis, we just have to keep a couple things in mind. Fine. Against West Indies, against Australia, we were disciplined. We bowled well, we fielded well, and our batting clicked when it needed to click, especially against the West Indies, winning by 10 wickets. That was a big deal. Now against India, you got to do it for the third straight time. Well, Karni Yunus has the biggest problem right now in trying to keep his boys focused. Shai Freely has to keep that same team unity that everyone in Pakistan is raving about, and Pakistan has to keep that unity. They have to understand that regardless of the pressure on them, regardless of that stupid little stat that we haven't beat West, uh, the India in the World Cup ever, we're 0-4 against India in World Cups, things are meant to be broken. We did that against Australia. We destroyed, we completed, we defeated them finally the first time in 35 matches for uh, in 35 World Cup matches that Australia lose and they lost to Pakistan. It started in Henley, it ended in Colombo. Thank you, Pakistan, for doing that. That was awesome for all the Pakistanis out there. We have to think about the way the match is going to go. The toss is absolutely important. Mohali's pitch is pace, it is bounce, and the do factor can be a big problem, especially in the second innings. So Pakistan, inshallah, will win the toss and they will want to bowl first. If they bowl first, I think they're going to keep Shreya Bakhtar. Shreya Bakhtar has been able to get the compliment, a large compliment of his wickets against India. So his experience can be key. I asked the question on Sunday on the halftime show whether Shreya Bakhtar should play or not, and everybody was unanimous in saying that Shreya Bakhtar's experience could be very handy against India in Mohali. And yes, it could be, regardless of whatever his fitness problems, regardless of whatever uh, issues he may have had after the New Zealand game, you have to admit, Five overs from Shreya Bakhtar that could be great in the start of the innings to get out Sevak, to get out Tendulkar, to get out even Kohli could quiet that crowd and really put the game's favor in Pakistan's hand. So we could use Shreya Bakhtar. I just wonder if they're going to play Saeed Ajmal or are they going to stick with Wahab Riaz. Knowing how the Pakistani cricketers think, they're definitely going to go for Saeed Ajmal. I think Wahab Riaz is going to be sitting on the bench. And Saeed Ajmal is good for us in the fact that he may get a key wicket or two, but he also keep the economy rate down and his dusha can really help us out. Moment Hafiz has also been good with the ball. He's been great with the bat as well. He's shown in the last couple of games how with Kamran Kuhn, he's been a very uh, smart opening partnership. He's done uh, 50 and a uh, couple, couple of good runs for uh, Pakistan. He's going to definitely have a good time against India, inshallah, and he'll score as big if we have to bat first. Now, coming to the problem that I have is if Pakistan lose the toss and they have to bat first, I was talking to a good friend of mine, Kutub, today, and he was uh, really saying that we could not chase down uh, 300 runs. And if we bat it first against an Indian bowling, if you look at Baji, you look at Harbhajan and Singh, against Australian seven overs, they only allowed 21 runs. So he keeps it economical. Ashwin has been like uh, something good for the pace attack for India right now, especially when it comes to Zahir Khan. With the bench the way it is in the start of that match, bouncy and moving on the seam, you could say Zahir Khan could have a field day if India bowl first. Our middle order batsman, uh, namely Miss Balhak, inshallah, some luck on his side and he won't get a terrible ball again. He'll be able to get some runs. Yunus Khan is able to score 117 in 2007 on the same pitch in Mohali. So hopefully they can play some very smart cricket if they are batting first. They need to keep a target of at least 
300. If they bat first and Pakistan get a target of 300, we can win. I think our bowlers can defend a 300 uh, run target regardless of how potent uh, the Indian uh, batting attack is. If you look at the stats, uh, Sewak does not play well against uh, Kevo Tehan, Pakistan. He's got a low average. Uh, Tendulkar has a lower than career average against Pakistan. The two most dangerous people is going to be Dhoni and it's going to be Yuvraj Singh. And Suresh Rana can add some runs as well. Don't forget Gautam Gambir. He's in good form as well. You may say Dhoni has not been good with the bat uh, in the World Cup so far. But I know that captain. Mahinder Singh Dhoni, he will step it up against Pakistan. So a couple key wickets for Pakistan are obviously is going to be the first two wickets. The opening partnership of Sachin Tendulkar and uh, 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 Sewag. but we also try to get Yuvraj Singh has had an amazing tournament so far he's in form with both the bat and ball he's got to go as well our bowlers have to target them our bowlers have to keep it bouncy if inshallah they win the toss and they bowl first we have a better chance of winning my prediction is if Pakistan bowl first we will win by two wickets that's my prediction if we bat first it's going to be very close. It's going to be very tense. And I see going down to the last ball with Pakistan winning by less than, or less or more than 10 runs, 15 or under runs. And it's going to be one of those matches where all our nails, they're going to go. We're just going to be chewing on them. We're going to be tense. We're going to be crazy. Wherever you watch the match, be safe, have fun. Remember to pray. Remember to, uh, you know, just be positive about a win regardless of whatever happens. Uh, I just like to say for Pakistan, Whatever they've done in the World Cup, I am very proud of them. I am very proud of the team. Whatever they've done, getting to the semifinal was a huge thing. Obviously, we want to defeat uh, India. We want to get over that hump of never defeating him in the World Cup. Uh, there's a lot of stats that I'm leaving out. I know that uh, Mohammad uh, Kebal to Yunus Khan has had a favorable time against India in the last eight ODIs. He scored a couple centuries, so he is good to go, and I think he will step up his game against uh, India. I'm hoping Umar Goh can gra grab a couple wickets, and I want Shahid Khan Afridi, who's sitting at 21 wickets, to defeat Glenn McGraw's uh, uh, stat or record. Satais wicket eight World Cup may Hasil Kia that is the highest by any bowler so nice wicket. If Shai the Freedy can get four wickets now and four wickets in the next game, he'll have twenty nine. And that would be a tough uh, record to break. Inshallah Dalla will make it to the final. This is just a short video. Just wanted to put my prediction up there. Just say it again. If Pakistan bowl first, we win by two wickets. If we bat first then we're going to win by 15 or less runs. That is my prediction. What is your prediction? Leave it in the comments or uh, go to my blog, www.agentdodo.com or check me out on uh, Facebook, Super Football Show. We're hopefully going to start up after the World Cup and uh, stay tuned to the halftime show on Radio 1, FM 91. It's going to come on Sunday and hopefully on Saturday we'll be in the final and I'll uh, put up another video on Friday. Made it short, made it sweet. Pakistan versus India. If you talk about the advertising uh, revenue, 18 lakh rupees for 10 seconds on ESPN Star Sports. Zero on current channel. So if you want to advertise, make a video and just put it up on that channel as well. Why the hell not? Pakistan's in the butt. I know. I know. Just stay positive. Pakistan, inshallah, will win. Uh, what's your prediction? Let me know on the comments. Bye.